Hey everybody, reacting to chat GPT Pro with my brother John Peralta to CFA. Dude, they just dropped this thing like eight days ago. It's apparently, it's a 200 a month plan. But I, I'm trying to wonder if it's going to be used for your investing stuff. So I think we should read into it a bit. So introducing chat GPT Pro. $200. $200. Like, think about it. Say if you have a $2,000 account. <laughs> the fee for this is more than your account. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Like, like to make it budget? make sense, what's the budget of a finance company? Does like, it make sense? Like, let's say, let's say you have a mutual fund company and you're charging two percent MER. Yeah. So let's say you have a hundred thousand dollars. A two percent management expense ratio means like you pay the mutual fund company two percent of that hundred thousand that you give them to invest two grand yeah so like you would literally have to invest more than like a million dollars at least to make this make sense oh really <laughs> so as ai becomes more advanced it will solve increasingly complex and critical problems it also takes significantly more compute to power these capabilities today we're adding chat gpt pro a 200 dollars monthly plan that enables skilled access to the best of open ai's models and tools this plan includes unlimited access to our smartest model, OpenAI 01, as well as to 01 Mini, GPT 4.0, and Advanced Voice. Doesn't it already have these? Yeah, I feel like you um, you so you hired, hired one of those goofs. <laughs> <laughs> you hired one of those goofs for one cent a day. <laughs> I feel like the the person's. I mean, like that kind of makes sense, but <clears throat> like the the compute. Whoa, wow, it knows my how name. do you know it? I don't know. How, how, how that? How, what? Okay, let's see. In the future, we expect to add more powerful compute intensive productivity features to this plan. So, ChatGPT Pro, how do you even buy this ChatGPT Pro? Pro? Oh, there oh, it is. <laughs> so, I already paid 20. You probably paid 20 as well, right? Yeah, I pay like 30 Canadian dollars a month. Okay, what's the difference? So, obviously, it's 100 times more. Or that's not how much times more. That's 10 times more. Sorry. Everything in free, everything in plus, extended limits, access to 01, 01 mini. Bro. I don't even know. Show Let's them just... the tab from last Saturday. Uh, which one? <laughs> what happened? The... That was like from three weeks ago. That was three weeks ago? When the I... 2K? <laughs> oh, no. Not... I was going to say like at the club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> yeah, drop I'll, that. I'll, drop I'll that drop video one that, time. So. Drop, drop a video. Drop a pic of that one time. Okay, but it also includes O One Pro, Pro mode. Um, cool. ChatGPT Pro provides a way for researchers, engineers, and other individuals who use research-grade intelligence daily to accelerate their productivity and be at the cutting edge of advancements in AI. So this is for more like research. Yeah, yeah. So like yeah. a PhD. Yeah, I mean, but even if you're doing like if you're doing shit for a head stuff for a hedge fund, <laughs> like isn't that considered we're, we're, like this might be? Worth yeah, but I feel like fund. but I feel like if if that information is already in an AI, the market already priced it in. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah I feel like that's kind of how it works. So yeah, more thinking. Just think about it, like. They took data, fed it into this thing, and now everybody has that information. Like, it's not gonna... Well, not everyone has access to 01. Bro, it's $200. Or, do you think everyone has access to this? I would have access to that. Yeah. I would just go to my work and be How like, yo, it? I need I need." This. How much is a Bloomberg terminal these days? Bro, like 30k a month. Still? Per oh, user? 25 per user per year. Okay. This is probably better than a Bloomberg terminal. Nah, <laughs> it doesn't have data like that, though, does it? I don't know. So what's the difference? What makes this thing cool? So more thinking power for more difficult problems. ChatGPT Pro provides access to a version of our most intelligent model that thinks for longer for the most reliable responses. In evaluations with external expert testers, O1 Pro mode produces more reliably accurate and comprehensive responses, especially in areas like data science, programming, and case law analysis. Interesting, they, they made it focus on law Word. maybe they want to Word. want it to be a lawyer <clears throat> like the way like look at how it it thinks longer for the most reliable responses is that like in the in its code it just has sleep for no it's, it's, 
<laughs> He's doing the chain of thought thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, stop just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> So nah, what? but like, how is this different than like auto gen or AI, like auto gen or lang chain or lang graph? Yeah, I don't know what makes it different, honestly. Because like, if it's just doing that, like, it might just yeah, be lang. I think that's what it's doing. Back. It probably has its own thing. So compared to both O one and O one preview, O one Pro mo- mode performs better on challenging ML benchmarks across math, science, and coding. So it's showing how it benchmarks against. Um, math in math competitions so you can see on the y-axis here we see pass accuracy so it's like way better than 01 preview when it comes to this competitive math competition it's even better than the 01 that's pretty good For- i want to see the prompts though you want to see the prompts yeah i want to see like are they prompting it differently yeah, we can, we can, I think it says later in the, in the stuff what they're asking it, but for competition code in code forces, it passes 89% of the time, 90% of the time, which is pretty good. Dang. And PhD level science questions. What is GPQA? Dang. I remember the first time you ever showed me chat GPT. Um, I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to test it on like cfa questions i'd ask it like a level one question a level two question it was it was passing in like april wow so this is like <laughs> so I don't this know, thing's this probably is... like cooking cfa kids right now <laughs> to be honest dude when is the exam i don't even know okay, forgot about those guys so now we see in the benchmarks that it can do phd level science questions it can compete in code forces and if you put it against a, a math competition nerds, it's 86%. That's pretty crazy for 01 Pro. Like, imagine they might get near 100 soon in the next couple yeah, of models. Worrying. How's 01 Preview so low? And it's so low. And did you think 01 Preview was good when you used it? I like 40 better than 01. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Do you? Was the $130 in a night worth it? No. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, look, to highlight the main strength of O1 Pro, Pro, they used a stricter stricter evaluation setting. A model is only considered to solve a question if it gets the answer right four out of four times. So now when they do that, you can see that O1 like drops all the way down. It's not really reliable and it hallucinates more. So that extra thinking really helps it maintain like a high bar of um, reliability, which is pretty interesting. Like, I don't know, like, they should have put where 4.0 was, because that's what most people use, and see yeah. how that competes. Dude, it might even be, like, even less than this, because they say 0.1's way better. Yeah, it's, like, the top rank right now. Yeah. So, it's, like, for co- for generating code, it's already three times better than 0.1 preview. Interesting. So, pro users can access this functionality by selecting 0.1 pro <clears> mode <throat> in the model picker. So, there's this model picker. Where'd it go? Oh, you could use it, but limited? No, we don't have access. But it would be here if if I actually bought bought it. Could you try to replicate it with um, like API calls? Like let's say you call O one and then just use LangGraph or LangChain. Maybe, maybe. So since answers will take longer to generate, ChatGPT will display a progress bar. That's pretty interesting. It'll take way longer to to uh. come up with the answer. Nice. Okay, two hundred dollars. Who gets? Who gets it? So now they also talk about that they're gonna be giving grants. Um, dude, did you hear about that ChatGPT whistleblower? Maybe no. there's some ChatGPT whistleblower who committed suicide, but that's a whole different video. Dang, that's like Boeing level. <laughs> what? Yeah, you're right. Dang. So ChatGPT, but we'll keep this video positive for now. So if you're a researcher or something. Yeah, yeah. Or don't, they're giving don't talk about those stuff. You might get like reduced in the <laughs> algo. Yeah. yeah. Um, so chat GPT programs to help drive meaning, meaningful progress in fields that benefit humanity. We are awarding 10 grants of chat GPT pro to medical researchers at leading institutions in the U S yeah. with plans to expand programs to other regions and areas of research in the future. So they're giving it the $200 for free. Yeah. They're giving them pro to these 10 people. So this person is a PhD helping out kids with diseases. Good job. 
PhD. Yeah, didn't you do that at one point? A uh, Hotchkiss. Yeah, right? but these guys are next level right here. What is this? But think about it. Pretend you're a researcher and you're stuck on like some crazy math problem. Yeah, yeah. You just like send a picture of it and it can try to give you more ideas. Yeah, yeah. Like five years ago, imagine doing research. Imagine like Einstein having to figure out his theories and he has to get someone to proofread it. Now he's just he'd be just sending that to GPT and getting them to proofread it, right? Yeah, he's that that'd be pretty. That'd broken. be crazy. Yeah, that's kind of OP. Yeah. So these guys like they'll be doing their research and <clears throat> like instead of hiring another research student, they can kind of like bounce their ideas off this AI. So Word. and they can have everyone in their research department using it. So you pretend I have twenty researchers all talking to the AI. They basically double the workforce. Word. It'd be like forty. Word. That's do you think? Do you think you fine tune the AI, but also the AI fine tunes you? What do you mean by that? Like, um, I don't know. Definitely over time, I talk a little bit different. Oh, you to oh, the to the you learn how to like talk, talk to, AI to the to get, AI better, yeah. and then that kind of leaks into other aspects of my life. Like when I talk to people, like sometimes. I'm just like, man, this person needs to be quantized a little bit better for better inference. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. You know next? what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Like, but like when you say words to chat GPT, you make it really clear for the prompt. You also bring that into other aspects. I see. Like, cool. Um, yeah, that's chat GPT Pro. If you want to spend $200, um, I won't be doing it, it. Oh. but if you subscribe to either me or my brother, just post in one of our videos whenever, like how, you, like your experience with ChatGPT Pro. Maybe, like we spent way too much money at the club, so we're going to have to chill out and Dude, we're going to Vegas. Dude, I just missed a flight. <laughs> I just missed a flight for 250 man. Damn. Okay. But yeah, um, next video, we're going to react to Sora. I'll see you all in the next video.